Hey everybody, what's going on? Dace here, and today we are checking out my Devil Engine Very Hard Mode 1cc that uh, was from a little over a year ago. Uh, I, I obviously had this up on the channel, but I, of course, at the time wasn't doing commentaries, uh, just like some of the other ones I've done in the past and recently, for that matter. Um, but this is one that I, due to the, the game's history in terms of like the rough situation that the creators went through with the IP being taken from them and just the mess of everything that happened with that. Uh, this is a game that I kind of avoided talking about or ever mentioning really uh, just because I I didn't want people to be like oh wow this game looks awesome I'm gonna go buy it now and then the creators are just like missing out on like yeah just money uh, because yeah the person that took it is obviously collecting all that um, as far as I know there was some kind of resolution I'm not sure to what extent because I haven't kept up to date this is going way back um, uh, so I'm not sure what has all been sorted out and I know even after some of the issues that were kind of ironed out a bit um, the the people who did the art and the music, uh, they were still telling people, yeah, don't buy this game. Um, so if you... But here's the thing. Like, I realize, like, if people are looking up shmups anyway, they're going to come across it. So in, in a sense, I might as well just share this uh, because it's something I've been wanting to talk about. This run specifically, not the issue, because people can look into that on their own. Uh, I'm not here to get into like the whole situation but anyway that's why i have held off until now um furthermore i don't have the original recorded video this is just me downloading the youtube version of my run because uh, at the time i wasn't even really saving backup copies of my runs i think it was like right after i got rid of this file that i was like oh man i could have totally just kept that um but anyway it is what it is. So the visual quality might not be the greatest, but uh, we're here to talk about the run anyway. So uh, <laughs> for those who don't know Devil Engine, this is easily one of the hardest shmups I've ever played. Uh, <laughs> easy mode, which is still a challenge. That took me, like, I, I think I might as well just talk about... Um, just like my overall experience. So easy mode took about four days to figure out. Uh, and then jumping into very hard mode, which is the, the next difficulty up. Uh, this took about 24 days. And I think, yeah, it was like a little bit just before... Or yeah, a few weeks before Christmas. And I remember just, yeah, snowy days, practicing, just puzzling things out, figuring as much as I could out. And... At the time, I don't think I had ever really tackled a game that demands such extreme memorization like this one does, or at least that's how I feel about it. Uh, you have to have really, really precise positioning and stuff because it's so easy to take hits. Everything is super fast in this in this game, and we're going to talk about a whole bunch of different things uh, that kind of just add to the challenge and just how insane this game can be it's it's just nuts uh but in terms of like each level like looks incredible the music is amazing the boss designs are just awesome i absolutely love it at the time i i couldn't even tell you if they are still planning this or like what is going on i kind of doubt it or maybe there was like a steam version but at one point they were planning to do a dlc which was going to add six more stages so this game is six stages already so they were going to add like a whole other game on top of this and whatever else and like from seeing some of the images of what they were planning and stuff like that it looked like it was going to be amazing but of course with what happened i'm not sure if that ever panned out uh if it did it certainly didn't come to consoles that i'm aware of um but yeah anyway so, this is one shmup where, even with a lot of experience, the first stage 
can easily trip you up. A lot of a lot of the time, like once you're into it, like sure, I got to a point where, okay, like I typically won't mess up, but it still always felt like you got to be so so careful. And then when I started uh, working on this second stage, uh, oh man, like I cannot even say how tricky a lot of this was. Uh, so the way it works is. Uh, you have like that little burst thing that absorbs enemy projectiles. Uh, you can build that gauge up to like a maximum, and it means you have a bigger like a cloud. Oh, no, I'm not sure if that's the best way to word it, but uh, you can technically always do a little burst. But if you are like down to zero or one or whatever it is, then it's going to be just a tiny little. Uh, like burst and it won't absorb much because you don't actually have much of a, uh, a, a space to do that with uh, the way you accumulate extra lives other than like hidden ones like extends and stuff like that which are hidden here and there uh, you obtain lives and bombs by scoring uh, so as you kill enemies and you you get more score you'll see like those the, the red and the green bar in the top corner uh, going up. Now, when I say bomb, it's not the kind you might be thinking of. If you don't know Devil Engine yet, uh, they're more they're more like special attacks. So depending on what uh, weapon you have, there's the green one, the blue one, and the red one. Uh, depending on which one you have, you'll have just like a different um, ability. So for the laser, like we see here, when you activate or you use a bomb you'll have like additional lasers that kind of like spin or whatever giving you like three big ones uh, when you are the red ship you have like a just a whole bunch of missiles that come flying out and then the green ship or the green weapon has like heat seeking missiles uh so that's kind of how that works um this boss took quite some figuring out but when i finally did kind of piece together a route it it felt really smooth and uh or like a method i mean it felt really smooth and i think once i figured out stage two that's when runs felt like okay i can actually start working with runs i can actually start getting somewhere uh it it's tricky because this game there are some things that i well i i love a lot about this game but there are a few things that i feel really would have just been awesome to have included. Um, so there's a stage select, but you can only really use it as a training mode to such a degree because you can't adjust more than just choosing to enter the, that particular stage. Uh, so if you want to practice what stage four is like with a certain amount of bombs well guess what you're only starting that stage with three bombs and that's all you can really do to practice so it's very like the training through the stage select uh, approach is just very very demanding it's pretty pretty tricky uh, and what we'll see by the way I absolutely love this stage this this stage three was very very difficult um, to get a handle on but eventually like when i just buckled down and really put time into learning that first opening section before this purple laser part we're in now because this part's easy here um but it was that first part of the stage that was just like oh man i really got to just m like precisely memorize where each and every single enemy shows up and what i need to do for like the most optimized route possible because it's way too easy to take hits during that first section or just be using bombs you don't want to be using um, but i love the fact that we see this creature and we're interacting with this mechanical creature in the background and then it comes to the foreground as the boss which is one of my favorite boss designs in any shmup i absolutely love it with those big purple glassy orbs just so cool and then we go to this section here where it just gets even more crazy. Uh, so yeah, as this is going... <laughs> you, oh man, it's just, it's nuts. You can also adjust your ship speed, which is really cool. So like, you might see a little, uh, like, a, a change in how 
my my movement looks or whatever. Sometimes I'll be flailing around like crazy because I'm I'm in the fastest mode for specific parts, or sometimes it'll look like I'm actually traveling slower because I am. Uh, you can adjust that. There are three speeds. There's like a low, medium, and fast. So this this part of the stage is just crazy, crazy, crazy. Like there's just every step of the way, this game throws just a ton your way. It is off the charts. It is so nuts. That's one of the extends. Uh, it really, I cannot stress enough how much it pays to just learn where those are and the big score items, which are also invisible until you like shoot these spots on the screen and then it will pop out and fly across the the, the screen and you got to catch it uh, but that adds a, a decent chunk and as you collect more and more of those they go up in value so they become that much more important to get so i talked a little bit about the the training <laughs> the lack of training mode and how it definitely hurts uh the experience in ways um like at the same time, like, sure, like, it's great needing to just work with what you have, because you can learn a lot in that sense, but it's, it obviously means it's just that much more time consuming. Um, and there's really no decent way to actually practice the true last boss in this game, uh, because like I said, you're, the maximum you can go in there with is three bombs, and if you don't know this game, you're going to see just the insanity. Uh, I was so thankful when I pulled this run off, but it was one of those situations where you're down to your last life. If you take a hit, the run's over, and that's that. Like, holy smokes. This this is a stage. I love the music in this stage. It is one of my favorite songs ever. There's a wicked guitar solo. Maybe I'll stop and listen to that and like boost the volume for that part. Um, and then continue talking, but this was another stage that took quite some time to figure out because the, the opening is just so crazy. But again, we're coming up to a, a wicked halfway boss that I absolutely love. But I'm just gonna go quiet for a bit. so awesome so yeah i i really had to highlight that because even listening to it again my whole body was just shivering hearing that solo i absolutely love it and oh man to be honest like i feel like with what this game went through or like the people who made it like it is such a shame because this is another masterpiece shmup like holy smokes but anyway um so yeah, I think I was talking about the TLB. Uh, that can be very rough because it is a just a wild, an absolutely wild, off the charts battle. And because I love being able to sink in and just actually put time and energy into figuring things out, uh, but not being able to do that, uh, it kind of just felt like, oh, okay, like a, it's just a matter of like going in there throwing as many bombs at it as I can because that's another thing that this game I feel like it's it's cool but at the same time I feel like they could have done a little more so the way the boss fights work um, for the most part they're kind of just like these moments where you are just going nuts unleashing as many bombs as you can just to take them out very quickly and in ways it kind of go feels like it goes against the just the way the whole the, like the whole rest of the game is designed like it's very about like okay memorize every single thing and then the boss fights it's like okay there you just you go nuts like there's no memorizing it just go crazy like this one for instance 
even very, very skilled players will almost always take at least one hit here. Like, even that part, like, holy, oh my god, holy smokes. It's just crazy. And before, before long, you just have, like, this phase here where there's just junk flying all over. So, in that sense, it's not really the kind of approach to a boss fight that I'm into. I would love... Oh man, this 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 song is so incredible too. Another of my absolute favorites. Um, but yeah, like I like when time invested can translate to improvement. But with the way they have the boss fights here, no matter how many hours you put into it or how much you attempt to figure out, some of these boss fights are just like a mad dash and an attempt to survive. Uh, it's just, it's crazy. So anyway, this was another stage that was just, yeah, pretty wild thing to figure out. And you really got to master use of your, like, burst thing that absorbs projectiles. Especially, th like, this stage especially is where you just have to know how to use it. Because if you're not absorbing big enough patches of bullets then there's just way too much stuff left on the screen, and you're going to be attempting to weave in and out of stuff. This is one boss fight that I actually feel was handled, like, perfectly, absolutely beautifully. And I think it's one of the only... Might, it might be the only shmup boss fight I've ever seen in a game where you're going up against four bosses simultaneously. And I just love the way they... They jump back and back and forth into, like, onto the screen and into, into the action. Like, it feels so solid. Like, I absolutely love this fight. It is so wicked. And this is another example of, like, they, the people who made this, they have ideas that are so incredibly rich. And it is a true shame that what happened happened. Like, it's just, oh, it's so brutal. Because I would love to just see that DLC someday, or just something else in the shmup realm. I love the way the screen shifts here, and like the, the way they deliver and execute everything. Like The fact that your ship is, is just blowing that wall open, and then you go inside, you see the background lighting up. This part, holy smokes, I'm getting shivers just looking at this, because I remember how... Oh, how uh, much of a struggle it was to piece this together. Because like I said, the training mode, or <laughs> the lack of training mode, you've got to survive the, the, the mayhem of the first por portion of the stage just to get here, just to start figuring out how on earth you go about figuring this stuff out. And then I eventually I finally clued into the fact that, okay, that was really close, holy. Um, I clued into the fact that, like, okay, I can trigger them and then just like dash into like a different position sometimes i would still fumble i think that was like the first hit uh in this stage if i'm not mistaken but uh so that made a huge difference at the time but it is just every stage is ultra unique unlike the next uh, unlike the previous one and man just with the music going it is... Oh my god, I cannot get over this game. It's so easy to fly into ceilings or the floors and stuff like that too. And here's another fight where you... You are just unleashing as much as you can. Because the longer this fight lasts, the more lives you're losing so boom done and over with already second phase happening you really got to watch for like those oh those things holy smokes so you might think like oh wow 11 11 lives that's tons of lives compared to most games but in this one that is not a lot of lives it's like, obviously it's enough to beat the game. I'm sure some people could do it in less. Uh, but 
but for my first clear of this particular difficulty, like, I... Oh, this was just nuts. This was just nuts. So this is a uh, stage six. It's not actually a full-blown stage. It's kind of just like we're here. We soak up some... Like, we, we make our weapon choice, soak up some points, uh, kill some enemies, and then we're just at the final boss. Really, really wild attacks. Like, everything, ugh, everything in this game is just very, very fast-paced. In the boss fights, it's just bonkers. Now, some of the weapons are, of course, way more powerful, but I was just kind of playing it safe with the green, so that if I had to fly to the top of the screen or something, I'm at least still damaging. But ultimately, I always want the the red weapon for bosses specifically, because the missiles are just super, super powerful. So here is the true last boss, and this is just a crazy, crazy fight. And I don't even have many bombs left, like, oh my god. And this is one of those situations where, like, you, you'll get here, and sometimes things will feel like they're going well. Other times it's just like, wow, I'm losing a life every two seconds. Like, can we please just stop ta taking hits everywhere? Come on, like, we can just do this. Can we please just do this? It's just bonkers. And again, think back to what I said about, like, if you're attempting to practice this in the training mode, it's like you, by the time you get here, you're going to have no bombs left. You're going to have, like, how many lives remaining, because you just start with the default amount for the final boss. And so it's just, man, it's just absolutely super demanding. So I have two two lives, or, well, three technically. Because I'm pretty sure zero, zero counts as a life in this game, but it's been a long time since I played this, so I, I don't recall, but... Now, that being said, um... I think the devs are working on some kind of fighting game, if I'm not mistaken. And I... Maybe they've made other stuff since, but it's the first game I've heard of since this one that they've done. So this is a technique that it really came in handy. Um, and boom, there we go. But just, yeah, so I... Yeah, it's not actually... Okay, yeah, so I think I need to correct myself because I'm pretty sure I thought I was down to, like, my last life uh, just from memory of the run. Um, but it looks like I actually had some stuff left over. But still, just absolutely bonkers. It is such a nuts game. I And there is... Well, yeah, this is one of the endings. I think... I'm not sure how many there are. Probably just two. Uh, but yeah. Really, really cool stuff. I think with this one... Not like I'm even reading. I'm just, yeah, staring at the screen and talking, but... This one goes the way it does. It does. If you're reading along, then you probably know what's up. Uh, if you don't destroy the TLB, then I think what happens is uh, humanity is enslaved or something. Again, like it's been well, like a, over a year or so. Um, yeah, but oh man, what a game! Just absolutely bonkers. Wow. So yeah, that's Devil Engine. Completely stellar soundtrack. 
I still sometimes listen to um, the stages four and five uh, tracks, like just here and there, because they're so good. But yeah, this is one that sometimes when I feel like, like when I've uh, cleared a game, I'll feel like, wow, okay, I, I've done what I want. This game is so good, though, that like I would love to jump in and tackle, like do another clear eventually, just because it is just over the top awesome every step of the way. And so relearning it or maybe even improving certain things would just be... A blast but at this point it's not like that's even on my radar right now I'm not looking to do that anytime soon it's just something I think about and there have been times where I have kind of booted up and played a little bit again but uh, it's been nothing serious anyway we're gonna leave off there for now thank you so much for checking this out with me let me know what you think in the comments below if you have this already and have played it enjoyed it whatever or what you just thought of the run if you're seeing this game for the first time. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. And we will see you next time. Take care.